So today, we're going to be focusing on methane hydrate. It is a ticking time bomb. And in fact, it does pose a very significant danger to our continued existence on the planet. Let's talk a little bit about methane hydrate as a chemical substance and what it is. First of all, methane hydrate is methane that has a cage of frozen water bound about it on the molecular level. It's trapped in crystals and it's formed by decomposing organisms and vegetation. And it's actually trapped in the frozen water ice crystals. Chemically, the composition of methane is CH4. That means four hydrogen molecules that are bound to a single carbon molecule. Now, those of you who have been keeping track of like the hydrogen batteries that have been being built, you know that hydrogen is a very volatile and a very powerful substance. And they've been trying to tap the power of hydrogen for some time as an energy source. So methane is a very volatile substance. This is how it exists. Uh, what you see before you is a picture of the edge of the continental shelf in the Arctic Ocean. What you find in the Arctic Ocean is there is initially a, a continental shelf that goes out some ways. And this is covered with permafrost. At the very top of that continental shelf is a layer of fossil ice that's been frozen for millennia upon millennia upon millennia. We then have a layer of permafrost, which is also frozen. We then have a layer of permafrost and methane hydrate mixed together, also in the frozen state. And under that, you have vast stores of pure methane hydrate, also in the frozen state. This substance of methane hyd hydrate is very, very highly concentrated. It is about 125 times more powerful than carbon dioxide at the molecular level. So for example, if you have a liter of carbon dioxide, that will, e that will equate to 125 liters of warming potential. Methane is much, much more powerful. That's when it first comes out of the Earth. It's very volatile. It calms down over time, and it does degrade. So over a 100-year period, methane is really only 20 times stronger with its heating potential than carbon dioxide. But it takes 20 year, you know, 100 years to get to that degraded potential. So initially, methane is 125 times more powerful. And it's really important to understand this. It's much, much stronger than carbon dioxide. Now, methane hydrate itself is extremely condensed. And one methane, one liter of methane hydrate is equal to 168 liters of methane gas. So in its frozen form, it's, ex it's an extremely concentrated substance. As you know, methane hydrate is also flammable. Maybe some of you have seen the videos that have been on YouTube where people poke holes in the ice up in the Arctic and then light a match, and there's a huge plume that just jets out. Actually, energy companies have been trying to mine methane hydrate as an energy source, and uh, they've been somewhat successful in doing so, which you know we can all have our opinion about what that means. Now, Methane hydrate does pose a danger to life. It's in unstable deposits. What that means is it's frozen. And as the ocean temperatures heat up, the methane hydrate system becomes a lot more unstable. And when it actually melts, it's released directly into the atmosphere as gas. So it goes from the methane hydrate frozen form straight into the gas form into the atmosphere. And this is coming primarily from the seabeds in the Arctic Ocean. We'll talk a little bit about this in, in just a couple of more slides. But basically, the most important thing to understand about methane hydrate is it has the potential to dramatically alter the Earth's climate. 